you can't be good at everything and you, you, can't, you can't do everything. And so what you really need to do to be successful is find other people that complement your skills. I am a technical founder and co-founder of Cahoots. I first got into computers because we bought one at home and I just got instantly addicted to it. <laughs> and you know, when you're young, you just love to tinker around and spend hours doing, you know, just figuring stuff out. Uh, we had an AOL account uh, back when it was um, like by the hour, like you would pay hourly rates. I remember the first time my dad got the phone bill, he was, he was pretty outraged. And we ended up switching to another provider that was like more unlimited. But uh, yeah, just basically sat at home and I made all kinds of like, you know, little, little kind of dumb programs that, you know, did, did things that I found useful at the time. And you know, I actually built the website for uh, my school district at the time. And for some reason, I pitched to them uh, building, to build the website for the school, and they must have trusted me a lot. Uh, and so I, I went ahead and did it, and it was like a dynamic website. I uh, actually won an award at the uh, Pennsylvania State Computer Fair <laughs> for, that, for that website uh, one year as well. That was, that was a fun experience in the Pennsylvania State Capitol building. Everyone having their computers all set up and uh, you know, going through that. Uh, so that was a fun experience. You know, coding is not for everybody. I mean, it's just it, it's just like anyone can learn it, but unless you really enjoy like sitting in front of a computer for eight hours and like problem solving your way through things, like it's just it's just not what everyone wants to do with their time. Uh, after I graduated from school, I got a degree in computer science, um, and then shortly after that, I got my first job, and I actually met my first uh, or my two business partners, Guy and Lindsay. We started our first company back in 2004. It was called BitLeap and ended up being acquired by a company called Barracuda Networks. Going from that to a 1,500 person Silicon Valley company that was very successful, you suddenly become a little less confident in your abilities, right? You're like all these smart people doing really cool things and then you sort of, you know, you get a little bit insecure about where you, where you fit into that. And you know, one of the things I learned is just, you know, you're not, you're not good at everything and that's okay. Um, lean in to you know, what you're good at and lean on other people uh, that are good at, at those other things. And you, know, I, you, you come to find that everyone's sort of in the same boat. <laughs> and you know, through that, you, know, you guys, you can do amazing things together. So. When people come to Cahoots, um, I want them to feel a sense of community. I want them to, um, you know, feel like they have a space that they can not only work but you know start a company and grow that company. Um, you know, a space that you know they feel comfortable spending time in, um, and you know just enjoy a, a place they enjoy being at. One of the reasons I love going to happy hours and other Cahoots hosted events is just seeing members interact with each other, um, you know, talking to members about their backgrounds and where they came from. I mean, every type of company and you know individual is represented here, and it's just it's just so cool to uh, to kind of see that community come to light and like see it exist in 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 a physical space and not just an idea in your head.